Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at what is meant by a displacement reaction. Before we do that, it's useful just to have a look again at the reactivity series, which is in your books. And you see the reactivity series is a list of elements, most of which are metals, with the exception of carbon and hydrogen, starting with the most reactive at the top and working our way down to the least reactive at the bottom. And this list has been put together based on observations of reactions of these elements as you saw in one of the previous sessions with water and we can then use the observations to decide which of these elements is the, is the most reactive working our way down the list. We're going to use this idea to um, make predictions and, and use these ideas to understand what is meant by a displacement reaction. Okay, So first of all it would be useful just to define a displacement reaction. A displacement reaction is defined in this way, it's when a more reactive element displaces, pushes out a last reactive element from its compound. Probably the best way um, to illustrate this is to use uh, an example. So let me just put this in front of you. This is taken from your books. If you find this in your books, you can complete this in there as well. And you can see at the top, it says what is meant by displacement reaction. We've just defined that. And then here's our example, okay? We have got um, copper oxide reacting with magnesium. So here's my compound. This is the element. If I come back to here, I can see that magnesium is more reactive than copper. So magnesium is higher up in the reactivity series. It is more reactive than copper. So in this reaction, the magnesium being more reactive is going to displace, push out the copper from the copper oxide compound. And that will lead to the formation of magnesium oxide, the brand new compound that's been formed, and the copper has been pushed out from the compound or displaced. Okay. In terms of formulas for this, copper oxide is CuO, and we've got magnesium reacting with it. This will make magnesium oxide, and we get our copper displaced. It's already balanced, so I don't need to add any other numbers to make that work. If we have a look at the um, alternative to this, if we had the copper with the magnesium oxide, then this reaction wouldn't work. Why not? Because the copper is less reactive, the magnesium is more reactive, the magnesium has already got the, has already got the oxygen, it's already a compound with the oxygen, therefore the copper cannot displace, push out the magnesium from this compound. So we have a choice of just saying there's no reaction, or sometimes you might see it written where these are just written exactly the same, this side showing there has been no change. In your notes, underneath each of these two reactions, it's asking you to explain um, these so that you can understand why this reaction has worked and this reaction hasn't worked.